what's problematic about the way it's set up is, uh, number one, we really don't have a clear, clear shot from the front office to where the visitors are buzzing in. A visitor can easily head straight to the nurse's office, um, head straight to you know another part of the building unintentionally, but then that makes us you know need to go and track that person down. So it's just a safety concern that you have full access to a building once you enter that front door. So if Prop S were to change, um, visitors would not be able to have full access to our building. What would happen is well, they would be buzzed in still, but they would come straight into the main office. Um, another great part too is they will empty right into there and our SRO officer is there as well. So it's going to be very contained um, and it's just another layer of safety so that we don't have people accessing our building um, that should not be accessing it. If you've ever been to Washington Middle, you know that we have um, a lot of stairs. If you know a student is in a cast or we have any students in wheelchairs or adults, they have to go all the way around our building. There is no access to the front of our building um, currently. So we're going to be hopefully getting a ramp to the front of our building. So that way it's more welcoming that when you come to Washington, you don't have to figure out how am I going to get in here. Um, it's right there for you. The lighting on our campus definitely can be improved. Um, in the evening, it's pretty dark. Um, there's a lot of areas that um, it's completely dark, so it is a safety concern. We do have staff that stay here late. Um, there's occasions that I'm here late. Um, we have activities happening at night, and it's just not safe, um, you know, visibility-wise. So lighting would greatly improve that feeling of safety and also just being able to see your surroundings when, when you leave our building. Throughout the year, we will find leaks in our in our building, especially after a large rain. So when leaks happen, uh, we typically put a trash can, uh, depending if it's a small leak there, um, that way it can catch the water. Um, they have to then uh, close off the area. A lot of times the leaks are in our hallway, which does impact the flow of traffic with students. Um, and then they also have to keep, you know, mopping it up because it's a safety concern. 